Hey guys, it's Farming Bananas Extra again, and today is a video about a application I made for one of my subscribers. His name was Mr. Gogo BB1. Uh, sorry if I pronounced that wrong, but yeah. And he asked me, "Could you show us a program that chats to you? For example, if you say hi, the program says hi, and it asks you questions and stuff." He says he's done this, but he wants to see the version that I make. So yeah, I'll put the comment up somewhere on the screen now just so you can see it for a second okay so I'm just going to open up the program I made here, I'll try and explain it a bit but it's got different file formats and stuff might be a bit hard to understand but I'll try and go through as much of it I can within the time period I'm allowed to upload to YouTube so yeah so basically this is the main file which is like what runs everything so we got the if name equals main which is basically what you get if you just select the uh, module thing above in Eclipse but basically you got a global, global just declares uh, a variable that can be accessed throughout the like anywhere in, in like the particular file system so it's making main a global and you have to declare it global before you set it so global main and that is this here which is the object which pretty much runs everything so you've got the main global I always do that and then we've also got this which is home screen dot banner and we see we've got a file up here called home screen now all we've done here is from info which is the package which is here like the little package icon um, from info import and then all you're importing is everything within this file here which is a home screen file and all this is is the banner which comes up in the beginning I'll show you how it works in a sec but yeah so this is just, just prints a lot of different lines and stuff and it's pretty pretty simple but you import times so we can do these things here which are the sleep format things I don't know if I showed you in another video oh no it's lagging dun dun. there we go also from chat which is the package here um, you're importing main chat which is the file here so that, that that's just the um, banner don't worry about that and you see down here it just declares main chat or main chat loop which is the loop here so we've imported all these things we don't even use half of them but don't worry about it I uh, use the random module I'm also going to show you a slightly like slight bit of random module stuff at the end but not at the moment so see so we've got here we've got all our declare things don't worry about that so we have our main loop here um, which is the main chat loop and what I've done is I've built this around a while loop so while true is a, is a loop that's always active so also while one is a loop that's always active and we've got a break down here so that it breaks um breaks up like it runs it once and then runs it again it doesn't keep run, run it once and then just stop so we've got a break here if you don't understand this this is slightly more advanced than other tutorials I've done you can still watch it of course but you know you might be learning a bit might be going ahead a bit too much but it doesn't matter so basically what we've got inside this loop we've got a string input and prompt which is this little symbol here that's equal to words and it says if words is in any of these so pretty much hi or hello whatever it's got a random choice which chooses any one of these strings here and outputs it onto the screen by printing talkback which is what it does also you can you can like add stuff so you can add like elif and just, it's just all it's made up of pretty much if statements within this loop also you could do like an else statement instead of the loop and um, which could just like print invalid and then rerun main chat loop which just keeps rerunning it but this way works nice for me so yeah so it's going to go on the main and I'm just going to show you quickly uh, in fact what I'll do I'll run it from here instead so see now we've got the little banner coming up which is really easy to make you can also add music and stuff I'll show you to do that someone else so you put in Y, which isn't valid, or T, or C it keeps looping around until it gets the um, code there once. So if you put in high, it chooses a random string. So every time you put in high, it should, well, not, it's not every time it prints a random string, but see, it's, it's printing just a random string every single time. Obviously, how are you? I think is another inbuilt one. Not very well. 
So you see it just, just built up from if statements and stuff and it's just the random module keeps printing out different statements or mostly different statements every time. So it could be like a set of three questions and then it prints out a particular one and that follows on to make a big conversation or something. That is the application I made. I put every single file, every single piece of source in the description uh, to download it from my media file if you want to edit it or keep building on this to make a big application and send it to me and I'll be like oh my god thank you so much you can do that if you want to I'm not saying you can't so now we have that covered the three like filed little talkable application I'm just gonna move on to this random uh, little random example here so I imported random which is the module there that just like generates random stuff so we got characters which is a variable it's equal to random dot choice and what choice does it chooses a certain element from a list so we have the elements Bill, Bob, Callan and John here so it chooses any one of these at random it's not obviously it's not random 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 because the computer is built to a certain degree of not randomness but anyway and it just prints whatever character it's chosen onto the screen so we can it's, it's one it's like a one in four chance it will choose a certain element here We've just got numbers equals random rand rand integer, which stands for random integer, and it chooses a random integer between one and nine. So anything between this can be chosen. And so there's a one in nine chance of it being chosen, and it just prints a number on the screen. And also down here we've got random, which equals random dot random, and what this prints is just a random. I can't remember how many digits exactly, but a random number between zero and one point zero. So we just run this quickly. Uh, run it down here. Let me just drag this console up here. Right. So we see it's printed bill, two, and that, and whatever that number is. We run it again. So it's printed John, five, and every time it should print something differently. See, every time we run it, the, ra the random um, module will print something differently. So that's a slight, a slight sort of example of how the random module works. If you want me to go over any module in particular, uh, if you want me to go over this module in particular in more detail, then of course I will. I don't mind whatever you want me to do. Uh, so please download this, uh, the um, application from my media file in the description. And thank you for Mr. Gogo BB1 for suggesting this application. Um, check out his channel. Subscribe if you will. And that's about it for today, guys. If you have any other suggestions of what applications I can make next, please leave them in the comments. Uh, message me on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, whatever you want to do. I'll look it up, make the application, explain it in a video like now.